Hello everyone and this is my third video and uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, the first few days in Canada inside in once you uh, are after you you know you, as you begin to stay here okay so um, first things first uh, the, uh, you need to first you know make sure that you get your um, your PR cards first right like your actual um, the the card card that's going to be sent to you because that's the um, uh, that's going to be like your uh, federally issued ID f for a long time to come. That's uh, because uh, generally in Canada you need uh, two pieces of photo ID wherever you go. So uh, your PR card will automatically form one, and for the second photo ID, your passport uh, can serve as the other. Now that basically depends on the province. Like in Alberta, where I live, your um, they just need one photo ID, a government issued photo ID, and then just some some other ID. So uh, you can use your um, let's say your PR card and then even your health card forms as your ID. Now talking about uh, certain uh, things like your health card, your SIM cards, these are uh, the two pieces of information that you uh, really need to have as quickly as possible because um, without a SIM card, now SIM basically stands for social insurance number and without this SIM card you can't open a bank account or register yourself let's say in a college or a school or you know anything else right. So yeah you need to um, go about applying for that. Make sure you contact the closest Albert the the service registry office like over here we call it the Alberta service office uh, re service registry so it comes so spontaneously so anyways make sure you um, you go to the nearest center for newcomers otherwise and uh, or find out where the closest registry service is or um, so that you know what they can do the, they can guide you about as to how you can go ahead and apply for your uh, sim card the other most important thing is your health card so um, because this um, card is the one that's going to give you access to uh, to clinics and you know help you help you get you know medical facilities and everything and uh, also um uh, another part to remember that if you are buying, you know, medication, you know, are prescribed medicines, uh, and always keep in mind that uh, there's one that's the um, the actual medicine that is uh, you know prescribed like the branded one and the other one is the generic form so the the generic form needless to say is a more uh, cost efficient way of um, of you know making your medical purchases and in Canada like unlike back in India like I don't know it depends on on which from which place in, uh, of India uh, you come from but um, like back in India like I, I was so used to like you know just hopping into whatever uh, clinic was close to my house right and getting appointments quickly well in Canada uh, things operate a bit differently while you do have emergency walk-in clinics that take you in the usual practice is to get like a, a you know a proper family doctor so yeah uh, make sure you get that but um, you know before you go and to get, get into all these uh, it's it's always good to first choose your place that you want to stay so that then afterwards you get you know the doctor closest to you you know your um, so that you know when you fall sick you have uh, some uh, some place readily accessible we'll be covering this in a later video for sure like finding your uh, the uh, your 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 place to save what are the factors you need into account right now i'm just uh, Go, what you, going over the the basics of what documentation you need and also talking about your landing paper make sure you keep that safe because this little document now the landing paper that I I was issued it was a very thin piece of paper perforated and even the ink on it like I could I can hardly see my name on it anymore but having said that this piece of um, document is very important when you eventually apply for your um, your citizenship or and um, or even in some cases when you uh, want to extend or in renew your, your your permanent card, you know, like this document, this document could be request could be uh, required. So make sure you always keep that in a safe place. However, if you do lose it for some reason, let's say your bag got stolen or you just threw it by mistake, you can always apply for a duplicate doc document. Once again, you'll need to go through the website cic.gc.ca, and you will be guided as to how you go about applying for, uh, uh, you know, <coughs> a duplicate. A record of landing document right and um, making your first purchase purchases um, go easy on the wallet now it's not the time to you know play brands and everything there are lots of uh, there's, there's a lot of stores available make sure you do you choose the store which is um, you know selling your you know commodities at a, a low price I would I personally like Walmart because I feel I get quality at an affordable cost and uh, and I don't know it just caters to most of my needs and there are also a lot of ethnic Indian stores available, right? That's another important consideration you need to keep in mind when choosing your uh, new place. And uh, in case you want to buy, you know, 
you know, emergencies like let's say you landed in winter and then you realize that you need a better winter jacket or a pair of gloves. Uh, while um, while Walmart and other stores do offer them at, uh, at very reasonable prices, going to secondhand stores, thrift stores is also not a bad idea at all. I personally go to a lot of secondhand stores to buy my things like emergency for the summer, emergency wear for the winter, or even let's say if I need a few couple of things. What I'm wearing right now is from Value Village and it looks good, makes me feel good. So it's no big deal, right? So yeah, there's nothing wrong in it. There's nothing shameful in it. So yeah, these are um, little few tips um, just to make you, you know, to keep in mind. That is, uh, go cheap, go easy on your per per on your purchases. Uh, choose your um, local departmental store care carefully. If you need to make purchases like toys for your little child who's missing his grandparents, nani, nana, you know what you want to buy toys. I think Value Village is a good place where you can buy toys for your kids at a very reasonable price, especially considering that kids, you know, get bored easily, right? So yeah, that's a good place to uh, shop and um, or even for your own needs like gloves and mittens. And yeah, make sure you get your SIN card and your health card quickly because these are two documents you really need to start getting your ways in Canada. Well, thank you everyone for watching this video and make sure uh, to comment and um, write to me in case you have any doubts and or you need more information and make sure you hit the like button in case this video was useful to you in any way. Bye.